This is a critical feature request. Send this video to Squarespace. If they implement this feature, I'll release a free training on how to sell templates on Squarespace. The feature that I want to be added is being able to add IDs to sections in Squarespace 7.1. So on Squarespace 7.0, we had the ability to change pages within index pages. We could change their URL slug and whatever we named the URL slug, it would become the section ID for that page. So it gave us a little bit of control over the HTML on the page and we could write custom IDs for sections and be able to write unique CSS for that section but we no longer have this ability in Squarespace 7.1. We have to target sections by their data section IDs. And the problem with that is when we go to duplicate a page in Squarespace 7.1 and we've written CSS specific to those data section IDs for those sections, once we duplicate those pages, the new page has different data section IDs. So our, our CSS no longer applies. So with this new feature, we would be able to, for each section, go in and add a section ID. So I've done a quick demo demonstrating what I think this could look like in Squarespace 7.1. And I sincerely hope that Squarespace listens and implements this feature because it'll make it so much easier to write custom CSS for Squarespace 7.1 sites. So the way it would work would be you'd go to edit your page, and then you would go to the section editor, click the little pencil icon, and then down at the bottom there would be a button called advanced. And then you could go ahead and write in your section ID into the input field. And once you save your page, then that section would inherit that section ID. So then you'd be able to inspect your page and see that indeed that section did get the section ID added. So now that the section has a section ID, you can go to your custom CSS window, and now we can individually target that section by targeting it with a hashtag and then putting in its section ID, and we can write custom CSS specific to that section. Now, right now you might be thinking, well, this is no different than targeting a section using its data section ID, but the difference comes in when you're duplicating pages. So when you've written CSS for a page based on its data section IDs, and then you duplicate that page, those data section IDs change, so your CSS no longer applies. So with this method, we can write CSS in a special way to target any ID that contains a certain phrase. So in this example, I named my section ID home intro for that section. When I would go to duplicate the page, that home intro would then turn into home intro dash one, but they still share that common phrase of home intro. So what I can do is I can write my CSS in this special way to target any ID that contains home intro. So now when I go to duplicate my page, all of my CSS for that section is repeatable and it will still apply to my new duplicated page. And the reality is you can't really deliver a Squarespace site to a client without some level of CSS customization. So this is an extremely critical update in Squarespace. If you're watching this, please implement this feature. We need it in order to deliver Squarespace sites to our clients. And this is going to make the CSS that we write so much more effective and it's gonna make it so much easier to write CSS. Now this is also going to allow Squarespace web designers to sell templates. So if you're watching this, please send this video to Squarespace. And if this gets implemented, I will release a free training teaching guys how to sell templates for Squarespace. So with that said, go send this video to Squarespace. That's it for me. I'll see you in the next one.